What is up players, it's Warbots here up in this mug. Welcome to a video focusing on the converted Space Marine Commander here. You've got a commander who is actually based off of the Emperor's Champion kit for the Black Templars. The conversion is uh, two pieces. So his arm has been replaced, his sword arm has been replaced by this Thunder Hammer arm. And he's been given a backpack, a jump pack backpack. His sword went to this guy in the commission for the Iron Hands, and he's painted up just like the Vanguard veterans in a war boss or war master level, which means um, extra highlights and extra shades and more free hand. And I'm, I, I think I accomplished what I set out to do. If you take a look at his tabard there, you'll notice that it's been shaded and highlighted multiple times to create a very uh, smooth transition from dark red to red to um, a bone ivory color which I think looks really really nice on the upper parts of the cloth. The uh, model has been highlighted so we started black right after I primed the model in black I gave it a go over with Abaddon black and then to draw the eye to the different pan uh, panels and the panes and the, the edges of the armor I had to use a combination of Stegodon Scale Green as well as, um, what was it, Thunderhawk Blue. And mixing and matching those colors, adding them in different proportions was really um, kind of a trial and error way of give, getting the, the result that I wanted. In the end though, I think it was really, really well worth it. I use a couple of transfers on the model. This first one you see is from the Iron Hands transfer sheet, which was, like I mentioned in my other video, a limited edition release by Games Workshop. I don't know why they didn't just release it, you know, normally. It's such a great sheet. It has lots of Clan Relcon symbols and, of course, a bunch of these Iron Hands symbols, chapter symbols, which you will not find on the old Space Marine transfer sheet. I'm not sure if the new releases have the Iron Hand symbol on it or not, um, but they, they really should. It, it just makes sense, especially because Iron Hands are so strong in the game. A lot of people will want to use them and paint them, but might not want to do the free hand and might want to rely on the transfers. So uh, I, hope, I hope they are included. The number 10 up there is from the Iron Hands transfer sheet as well, 10 for the 10th Legion. Uh, Roman numeral 10 right there was freehand painted on. I can, I can do that at least. The belt buckle of the wreath around the skull is actually from the World Eaters transfer sheet. It's a pre-heresy transfer sheet from Forge World that um, I w was looking for some other piece of decoration to put on him and I saw the belt buckle. It was nice and big. It was a big surface area. It was above the red cloth and I thought, you know, I have to put something there but it's such a small, small area. So I took a look in my box of different transfer sheets and insignias and stuff and I found uh, this tiny little insignia there so I thought that was great. Also I could have uh, another choice honorable mention was the Death Corps of Krieg transfer sheet which has, has a bunch of small Imperial Aquilas, double-headed eagles so one of those might have worked really nicely there as well. Um, Honestly, you guys, if you like using transfers on your models, or if, you know, you you enjoy that, personally, I think with Space Marines, freehand is okay, but it's very, very time-consuming. And if you have transfers, it's easier to get a consistent look on all of your models. If you look at my old Night Lords project models, I hated the Chaos Space Marine Night Lords insignia on the transfer sheet. It looks so fake and terrible, and... Um, and so I freehand painted all of them, but they were never the same. They always looked different because I couldn't consistently paint a skull with wings on it on a shoulder pad. Basically, long story short, I love the transfer sheets from Forge World. I think those are worth the money because you get so much. You get so much. The sheet is huge. It's like 8, eight inches by 11 inches. And um, I think it's well worth it. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope that explained to you this wonderful fantastic model i loved painting it. it it is definitely worthy of the war master level paint job that i could give it and i hope the client is happy with it i hope you are happy with watching this video laters